Dude, so tell us, tell us about the Meshuggah gig, man. How did you end up getting that? How'd you get the call? Uh, I'm not uh, exactly sure, but uh, I think they were they were sort of looking for you know the the right person. They and and they were like, yeah, we we don't have an ID. And then their the 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 monitor tech. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had been he, he did monitor for one show with Scar Symmetry, like a year later, uh, a year before, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, and he in the, you know he was, he was standing on my side of the stage, uh, and he's also a guitar player, so he, he was like watching me the entire night, like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, well, what's what's that guy doing? Yeah, uh, and I guess stuff. he was I guess he was impressed or something. Yeah, uh, so then he mentioned me like, what what about this guy? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's how it started. Yeah, so so it's it's got to be awesome, man, right? Yeah, yeah. So were you a big so, Sugar fan before? Pretty big fan, if, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, yeah. I was a fan. I was a huge fan, like back in the day. I I saw them. They did a show in my town back in early '94. I mm-hmm. think it was. Some friends of mine uh, were the opener, uh, so we went to see them, and then right. we heard that Meshuggah was a cool band, but I had, had never heard them. Right. And my my friend's band wasn't, you know, they weren't that very good, but we were there <laughs> to support them anyway. Right. <laughs> but then when Meshuggah went up on stage, and it, it that was just crushing because they was they were you know exactly you know as good back then as they are now. Right. Uh, you know the musicianship and everything was was there. Yeah. What year was so, that again? Ninety four. Wow, that was in the beginning, yeah. pretty much for them too, wasn't it? When was well, their they first started album? in eight? They started in eighty seven. Okay, that's it. That's right. Yeah, but I mean, they were they were kids, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but oh. ninety four, I was I was twenty. You know, so I was one of the young, you know metal yeah. musicians in my town right. and and everyone who, who who played you know in a band were there to see Majuga and everyone left you know being like oh you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. disillusioned and oh, I don't know what yeah. to do with my life yeah <laughs> uh, they right. probably still do yeah. that yeah 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 there's a there's a comedian uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of him his name's Bill Burr and apparently, oh, yeah, I, I heard that. that yeah, apparently he, he takes. He's, apparently he picked up the drums, and his drum teacher took him to a Meshuga show. And uh, yeah. you can see it's on YouTube. You can you can look it up. But it's him talking about you know his reaction to seeing uh, them for the first time and whatnot. It was, it was pretty funny. You know, it's, it's interesting to see, especially when you when you when you're not a musician and you listen to you know certain bands, especially like Meshuga, you don't really know and understand what's going on. But when you when you have a little bit of knowledge, I think the impact of how amazing and what they're really doing, the vastness of it is, has a greater impact. You know, at least it does for me. Um, you know, when, mm-hmm. I, when I was a kid before I played guitar, I didn't listen to anything that I listen to now. I didn't, mix, I didn't really, I didn't know any better, you know. I was listening to stuff on the radio. Shit. Not to do anything wrong with radio music, but as soon as I started playing guitar and started digging in a little bit deeper, I realized that, well, there was not a lot on the radio for me from a guitar playing standpoint, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's pretty impactful, I think. Um, so are you still are you still do, playing with those guys? I mean, we were supposed to be out this uh, this past summer, mm-hmm. and uh, and that obviously got canceled. And then right. it was rescheduled for next summer, yeah. but that got canceled as well. Yeah, which was too bad. It was it was um, it was meant to be like last summer w- was going to be a a festival tour mm-hmm. with festival dates in the weekends and then like the weeknights in between were, were like club shows mm-hmm. and travel days cool. but it was like four weeks that were put together you know to have the festivals and some other shows and to be able to you know carry the expense of having a big production all the lights and everything right and then when when all of the festivals, when everything you know got canceled and postponed, I mean, most festivals they just moved to the, to next summer, the same weekend, you know, right? But just next summer, 
but then it it a couple of the festivals they moved to other weekends so instead of mm. you know the festival moved from from july to august or so yeah. and then the the whole thing you know fell apart yeah and then suddenly you know to have that ex that expensive you know that kind of expensive tour tour thing going on with all the equipment and all the crew and have like big chunks of of uh, time where you don't have any shows mm -hmm. so it, it just fell apart and and they decided to yeah to have the summer off and and work on the new album right right that's cool so they're they're in so, the studio. so right now they're working on a new album and then there's going to be some some touring and uh, and it, it it hasn't really been announced whether I'm going to continue or if Fre right. Frederick is going to make his his uh, grand return. Why did Frederick uh, take some time out? Is that something you well, talk about? or No, uh, some people are like, does he have problems? Is it uh, family issues or, you know, whatever? Mm -hmm. Has, does he have AIDS? <laughs> No, oh <laughs> yeah, it's a little well, extreme. It's not that I'm aware of. No, does he have family but, issues uh, or does he have AIDS? Like, I feel like there should be something in between those two. Right. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, I, I just wanted to, you know, cover as much oh, ground right. as I could. <laughs> <in one statement. laughs> cover the full spectrum. Yeah. No, so as far as I, as far as I know, uh, he's been wanting to build his own studio mm -hmm. for a long, long time, and he's been wanting to work on his solo solo stuff i mean okay. he, he made a made a fantastic solo album but back in 98 or so yeah. i think it was released mm -hmm. yeah I, uh, I love that album yeah, by the way too. it's one of my all-time favorites yeah it's uh, crazy man so he i guess he he wanted the time off to do that and mm -hmm. i guess he's the is the kind of guy who who really you know he needs to focus on you know one thing at a time right see so if, so if he's got tours lined up then it's gonna be, you know. Then it's not gonna, you know. He knows it's not gonna work on his studio or his solo stuff. It's not gonna right. have the be in the right frame of mind to do that. Sure. Right. So, so he's been wanting to take the time off, I guess, for for several years, and and finally it was like, guys, we're I know we're in the middle of a of a touring, you know, touring cycle, but I I need some time off. Yeah. So um, I got a question from my brother because he didn't want to chime in. So he's texting me. He said, does Meshuggah have a lighting guy that tours with them? Because that guy must be doing the Lord's work. <laughs> <laughs> he truly is. And yeah, yeah, he, he, he tours with the band. Oh, cool. 